Hi there and welcome to Busternet. Yes, these are the Cop Diaries. We are still going strong and uh, <laughs> we've already lifted the title. Uh, that happened in the last uh, episode where I did a double. Uh, I did two shows in one and now we are coming up against that team called Barcelona. And Barcelona are going to be uh, our opponents in the Champions League semi-finals. Uh, we've done pretty well. But look at this. I decided to try the 4 3 one in the last couple of games because I was... Uh, I'm, it's still my favourite system, but look at this. 0 0 0 0, zero. I, I decided, okay, that's it. For And I had to get a win prior to the match against Barcelona. And I used most of my players to get it. Uh, and now I'm worried about this match because... Uh, According to the scouting reports, uh, this is not going to be an easy match. Uh, attacking fluid, they play inside for two inside forwards, cutting it inside. At um, at Luis Suarez sticking uh, forward most of the time. This Barrios, sometimes this is Arturo Vidal. I'm more afraid of Arturo Vidal than I am of Barrios. Rakitic, Sergio Busquets, uh, still a legend um, in front of defense. His anticipation is so good. Um, 17, 19s, lots of 19s. Yeah, I should change my skin again. Um, yeah, it's just too bright. I can't even see the numbers anymore. I'm getting really old and uh, skin colors are just too bloody bright. So we'll change this to a lighter shade of blue. Um, then it's going to be black. Yeah, this might be okay. Yeah, all right, This this is a bit better. Okay, so we just changed. So it's too bright. I can't see the number anymore. So I want to see whether it's eighteen or nineteen. Like it's gonna make much of a difference. Um, so we we faced uh, with this uh, really really solid side, and I've got to get ready for their match. Uh, if you can see Luis Suarez is. Uh, well, this is better. I can see the numbers. And I think you guys can too as well. Uh, pretty solid. He's still very fast and a danger. Um, what else do I check? So I'm gonna I've done some uh I've done some preliminary work on this team. Right. So I will probably go into their tactics uh and take a look at how this team has been playing the last couple of matches. Um there is something here, senior team squad. Look at the goals, um, clear cut chances. This is probably for the scouting report, so it's not many. Um, I don't know how many matches this consists of, but it's 5 over 7, so they don't really allow a lot of teams to to get assists from out wide in the last couple of matches. Through balls from the middle, um, flanks, most of the goals come from play shots. i got to be very wary of this because it means that these guys can get into very dangerous positions. So people have asked me to do a match prep guide. I will. Um, but I'm I'm going through this like how I normally do my match prep. Now balance, they're playing attacking fluid. If they're at home, attacking fluid. Away from home, balance. So that's the information that I can glean from this. This is what I suspect. Now the second thing that I want to do is I want to look at their schedule for the senior squad. You have to have a scout scouting something, right? In this particular case, we have one scouting the Champions League. And that's the only thing that I really scouted for Barcelona. But at least we got some information from here. So what we're looking at is things like where their shots, where their goals came from. So here, ninth minute, they score a goal. Um, I got to slow this down for you guys. Uh, so they play it out wide. Shot, Coutinho. Assist coming in from the left-hand side. So that Coutinho character, <laughs> that play on the left is on an attack duty. So the second goal, and this one is scored by Coutinho himself. Again, Messi dropping very deep. Uh, he's the number 10 here. So he's definitely playing as on support. And then he drifts one over. You can see Coutinho is on an attack duty again. And he's very high up. He's almost on par with the advance forward. Uh, and he gets into the box very, very quickly. Um, beats the offside trap. And this is Kyle Walker that is skinned. So if he can skin Kyle Walker like that, that's a problem for us. Because this is Kyle Walker is just beaten. And he goes in to score. So the right flank is going to be extreme. Is going to be put under a lot of pressure by Coutinho. And that's just one match. And then if I'm looking at the pass combinations, I'm looking to see who the link man is on the left. So this is where Coutinho is playing. So who's the link man? The link man is probably Arturo Vidal, more likely, or Ivan Rakitic. But here in some of the games, I noticed it was Arturo Vidal. 
And here you can see Arturo Vidal links with Sergio Busquets and Arturo Vidal with know, Red Katic. And Arturo uh, Vidal again. Uh, this guy is a bit annoying. Uh, he's he's playing pretty well. There's no very few passes from Sergi Roberto across, so they don't really do that crossfield diagonals. Uh, most likely, he, they go through Lionel Messi, who plays it out to the center, and then they recycle it to the left. It doesn't tell me very much actually, but I know the goals are coming from the left. So that's the first suspicion that I have. The second thing that I want to look at is. Another match again, the same, sh it's the same shit all over again. I mean, okay, if I'm really, really, really like you know, I haven't won this title for a long time, and I want to win every single thing under the sun, I would definitely watch a lot of games. So here we go. Barcelona played Man City. They beat them two nil. Uh, one goal from outside the box by Lionel Messi. Free kick. Okay, and then this. Uh, this was a, a shot that was, I'm not going to look at that one. Shot on goal, shot saved. Again, a lot of left-sided attempts. Luis Suarez coming from the left. So this must be a corner. And this is probably open play. Mio Messi again, Coutinho. We got to watch out for Coutinho and his runs. Messi is on the right, creating all those, <laughs> creating all those chances. Why so? bloody annoying but it's fun to play against these kind of teams because when you play against these kind of teams you start going like oh, wow these guys are so good so barcelona messi passes received 39 passes received a lot of passes from deeper sides uh he play, you can see all these are all like deep right deep and then he goes up and this this is in the opponent's half as you can see does a lot of link play on the right Messi contributes a lot to their link play on the right flank. Then we got Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal is the player I'm most afraid of. Why? Because he is going to link Philip Coutinho. So here we go. This is uh, Dembele instead of Coutinho. Then we got Rakitic playing it wide. So on the left, we got to worry about Arturo Vidal. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, then we've got scoring chances. We've got Arturo Vidal with one half chance for Lionel Messi. This is uh, interesting. So, now, how many matches do I do this for? Okay. In real life, when you, you hear about, you read about managers and coaches and the more research they do, they do a lot, right? They, they spend, if they, they think that this match is huge and they, they're worried about the opponent, they could be in uh, studying videos of an oppon uh, opposing team for hours on end, trying to figure out, come up with a strategy. And some of them are very serious. They do it for every single team. Now, me, I'm not that serious. It's just a game after all. <laughs> so, I'm going to say two things. One, they're going to come down my left. So, wait. We got Coutinho coming on this way. Right? So, this is the area that I'm most concerned about. All right, we got one defense duty here. We got one support duty. We got Alexander Arnold. Should I play with him? He is fast. His anticipation is 15. His positioning is 13. He's improving as a defender every single day. The other option I have is, of course, Nathaniel Klein. Nathaniel Klein is also fast. His anticipation is not as good as Trent TAA's anticipation. His positioning might be better. His tackling is definitely better. Now, this guy's anticipation is good. If we play a high line, I'll use him. If we play anything less than a high line, I'll use Nathaniel Klein. But now, maybe in this match, um, I want to use somebody who helps us keep the ball. Because um, we are playing our first game, I think at, we're playing it at the no Camp. So, I want to start, I don't want to start with uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I actually want to start with Nathaniel Klein in this match because he is a bit more effective at keeping the ball. Now, in midfield, it becomes a debate whether I want to use Henderson, whose positioning is 16, anticipation is 16, his work rate. The work rate of the two guys in midfield have to be the best in the team. I've got two at 18. Then we've got Nabi Keita as well as... Uh, we've got Nabi Keita and Fabinho. Nabi Keita's work rate is 18. His aggression, his anticipation... Um, places, shots, place, one, twos, like to switch ball to the other flank. I'm actually going to go with Nabi Keita as a ball-winning midfielder. 
uh, we're gonna ask, we're gonna maybe put Milner on the bench to give us an option. Okay. All right. So we got Nabi Keita as a ball-winning midfielder. Uh, his anticipation is 16. Henderson's anticipation is 16. So they both can read the game pretty well. Their positioning is both 15, and uh, his positioning is 14. But he's excel. He's pretty fast. Both of them are pretty fast. The reason why I've gone with uh, a Keita Henderson combination is because between them they have the ex probably have the acceleration to cover the pitch. Okay, but we might have to look at Fabinho now. Fabinho is 14 acceleration, anticipation is 14. Work rate not nearly as fantastic as Henderson's. Right. Um, passing penalty taking not necessarily important for this match. We have Shakiri Milner, Joel Matip. I got Gomez on the right. His positioning is 15. Um, we got Joel Matip's positioning is 17. His acceleration is 13, anticipation is 16. So who do I play? Who do we play? Uh, jumping reach. His speed is acceleration is 15, anticipation is 15. Um, and then we've got we've got Joel Matip. This is a debate. This is really tough because I like both of them. Uh, then we got Dayan Lovren. Um, Wow, this is a tough decision. My, my heart says Dea Lovren. I know most of you are going, what? You're going to use Dea Lovren as a defender. Yeah, but Dea Lovren. Dea Lovren. Positioning 15, tackling 16. And yeah, we're going for Gomez. And then Dea Lovren will be on the bench. Joe Mate, we don't need two defenders. So this gives me an option of bringing uh, Mr. PAS on the bench. I got Joe Mate sitting up. I got Fabinho sitting up. My goodness. This Liverpool team is definitely talented. Okay, with Jorginho Wijnaldum. Uh, position is 13. I can't play with Gini Wijnaldum here, right? So he's not going to... He may not be the ideal choice. Okay, so here we've got a fullback on support, a fullback on attack, but we're underlapping right. So his positioning is going to be very much higher. So we've got Gomez playing, hoping that Gomez can read the game before the danger comes. So we've got Joe Gomez. So this is the team that we're going to go with for the match against Barcelona. I'm shitting bricks at the moment. <laughs> so this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, okay, this is very, I'm, I, come on, this is a solid team. Look at that. You got smiling faces all over the place. They're all waiting to hammer Liverpool. I've gone with Divo Origi in front. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I didn't change my strikers. Ah, oh, man, this is, uh, okay, we, well, we're giving Origi a start, I guess. I forgot to check. I was so focused on my defenders and my midfield. I forgot to check my strikers out. So we got Diva Origi playing up front. So Salah is not playing, I assume. I don't even know who my strikers are for this game. That just goes to show you how what kind of an idiot I am. Salah should be playing. Salah, for me, you know, if Diva Origi is playing, means um, Shakiri is on the bench. So it's been... Salah with the ball looks for uh, our friend. Yeah, hit early crosses. Just again, Jordi Alba. Coutinho again comes in. And it's Suarez. This is a debate now. If Do I go narrow or do I go wide? If I go narrow, I, I, I have a chance of uh, congesting in the middle of the park. So this is I'm gonna be narrow for this four two three one because they both run inside. Virgil Van Dyke, what? Oh, what a mistake! What a goal for Origi! He starts it out beautifully, Bo. What a lucky, lucky goal! Virgil Van Dyke brings the ball forward, and then chips one over the top. That's definitely a pass, and he's a hopeful pass rather. He puts the ball into space. Origi chases after it and gets us the early lead against Barcelona. Unbelievable. We got to just look out for... Yeah, that's... Scoring all goals aside, we have to put that aside because the, the, the danger is this guy. Right, so... They tend to score all their goals coming in from the left. So we've managed... We've decided to go with a stronger uh, setup here. Okay. So we got this stronger setup here. We're hoping that this is enough. So I'm only looking at... I'm only looking to see... Messi is good. I can't do anything about Messi. If I if I start worrying about Messi, which is closing him down, tackling hard, or you know putting tight marking him, then he could become the magnet that creates even more space for the players on the left on the other flank. So we gotta let Messi have his game. 
may, but we have to worry about the, the, the receiver of the pass, Anderson, because he could also leave them vulnerable. What? Did you guys see Henderson strike? Oh, Liverpool are on fire. What a run from Henderson. Or was it Robertson? I don't know. Who the hell did that? It was Robertson. What a run from Andy Robertson. He just gives us a second goal. Liverpool are two ahead. With a beautiful dribbling solo, majestic, wonderful strike from Andy Robertson. Liverpool are two up on Barcelona. It's Henderson. We're doing the right job. Yes, 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 yes. Keep, keep very, very calm. This is a monumental day for us. I mean, I didn't expect this to be the case, but we are playing well. We didn't, we didn't go for the shutdown Macy route. We play out, we're still playing our game, but we are looking at how to show up our weaker areas, which is our right flank. We have conceded most of our goals from the right as well. Gomez reads the danger. That was the reason why he's there. Mo Salah dribbles. It's Origi. Oh, no, 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 no. But Jordi Alba. It's Mo Salah. Rakitic under some pressure. Macy with lots of space. Henderson has to close him down. They managed to get the ball out the first time today that the ball has gone to the right. In 10 minutes, Keita brings the ball away. It's Origi. Origi! Plays it back to Henderson. Henderson to Nabi Keita to Firmino. Firmino looks for options. He doesn't have any and he has got to go for goal. Keita Stegen. Liverpool 2-0 up on the Giants of Spain. Barcelona. Sergei Roboto looks for the cross but it doesn't come in. Okay. Today we're playing narrow defensive. With. Some days we play with a wide defensive. With. Yeah. Today is because of those inside running that Macy does. And then um, they are able to find the pass out wide. So we're, not, we're going to be narrow today to congest the space in front of our goal. I'm just hoping it works. Nathaniel Klein has picked up a yellow card. I do, I do expect that to happen. Because uh, he's, the players on that flank are actually quite good. I'm so glad Arturo Vidal is not playing. Suarez. Firmino reads the danger. Plays it to Salah. Salah can bring the ball forward. He does, but it's a corner. It's a corner. It's a corner. Come on, guys. Score, score, score. Salah with the corner. It's Gomez's header. Yeah, we gotta be calm. Okay, Macy still has the ball. Macy with the ball. Look at Macy play. He has to go to the left by himself now because he Macy now has to do all the work by himself. Oh, this is good news for us. But Macy is still having a very big influence on this game. And I definitely don't want to shut him up. Okay, cross corner to defend. We had a lightning start inside the first half. But the game is still... If Barcelona score, it's 2-1. So let's just relax, okay? <laughs> Klein to Mo Salah. Anderson. This tactic is called Mane's Revenge. And I don't think Mane is on the... Is he on, I think he's on the pitch, but uh, Barrios wins the ball. It's Macy. Finally, he... Oh, his shot is blocked. Vicky. Money is out wide. Oh, Sergio. Messi. Oh, looks for the shot. Diva Origi has been in sensational form. Um, he has scored quite a number of goals for us. Hat trick against Everton. And then uh, he's, he's just coming good at the moment. So, good, good news for the youngster. Okay, so Messi. I, we're still defending. So it's, uh, we've scored two. Fortuous goals, I guess. But it's been all possession, attacking, is all Barcelona. You haven't done anything. Rakitic is going to fire one and he scores. It's 2 1. It, it's got to be. It's, I guess it was going to happen. I mean, we've been under pressure for a while. Firmino to Henderson, back to Gomez, to Virgil van Dijk, to Nabi Keita, to Virgil van Dijk, to Andy Robertson. We've not scored goals because. We brought the ball up and created fantastic chances. No. We've only scored goals because we've been lucky, I guess. Like, what did Barcelona do? Barcelona switched on the switched on the afterburners to get a goal and after that, they just switched off. Mo Salah is Diwa Origi. 
oh the first goal was a a mistake by their by their um keep defense and the keeper. So the second goal was a moment of brilliance. So we haven't really we haven't really um ruled this game yet. So far so good. I am just silent because I don't know what to say. I'm I'm just worried that um Barcelona are gonna come into this game because I I'm actually I actually do not know what to do. <laughs> I just I'm just hoping that my strategy is gonna work. I'm taking a big risk with the underlap on the right side because the the uh, mentality is going to be very high. The so gear Roberto, um, there's a voice inside my head going, "Make changes, make changes." But I don't want to make changes for the sake of making changes. We gotta, I gotta see things before I can make those changes. Barrios, ah, uh, it's not, it's not a red card. Um, okay. All right, we're gonna make a change at halftime. I'm gonna take off Nathaniel Klein and bring on Trent Alexander Arnold and put him on the right flank. Uh, his anticipation is better. He might give us the edge against that them. Uh, okay, it's so a corner to defend. Okay, there's no corner now. All right, so I'm far from pleased with what I saw with you guys. That's enough. To that's enough. Okay, we've got uh, Trent Alexander Arnold. He'll come up from Nathaniel Klein. We've got Origi playing well. Um, Sadio Mane isn't playing so well. Okay, Origi. Barcelona are playing balance now. And they've got two attacking duties. Okay, um, I'm. V I don't know what to do. Okay, I know Coutinho is very attacking. This whole right, this that whole uh left flank is ripe for something. So I'm gonna change. Uh, I'm gonna go for not this. Uh, pass into space. Focus play down the left. Stop the underlap. Because Sergio Rakitic, I don't like it when Barcelona play like this. I do not like it when Barcelona play like this because they they keep the ball really well. I'm not. I, there's a part of me that wants to push up, but I don't think I will. We just wanna just focus on keeping things simple. Okay, Henderson. Oh man. Henderson tried to. Anderson's mistake could cost us. Yeah, it is gonna cost us. No, it's not. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, uh, we got Allison now playing to Virgil Van Dyke. Virgil Van Dyke plays it to Robertson. They're putting a bit of pressure on our left. Origi, good work from Virgil Van Dyke. Henderson has the ball, finds Gomez. Gomez finds Salah. Salah finds Origi. It's a good pass out to Alexander Arnold. Salah again. Salah tries the shot. Alexander Arnold. Henderson to keep Nabi Keita. Back to Henderson. Nabi Keita. They're keeping the ball. They play it back to Virgil van Dijk. Okay, okay. No chances. Nothing there. <laughs> no pass into space. I don't want to give them free gifts. Yeah. Um... Oh, Joe Gomez is a yellow card, but the two defenders are having a solid game. We've stopped underlapping on the right because of the threat of Coutinho on the on our on our on our flank. So that's one of the reasons why we're not underlapping anymore. Mo Salah, Coutinho, the idiot. Good work from Andy Robertson, the hero of the day. Virgil Van Dyke. Allison plays it to Gomez. Gomez back to Allison. Alexander Arnold. Anderson. What is hand? I'm worried. Oh, Origi. No, he missed a clear cut chance. 
that was as good a gift as you'll ever get, Origi. But, you know, he's already scored a goal. Okay, Roberto and Gomez. It's a free kick now. Who's taking this? Trent Alexander-Arnold into the wall. Jordi Alba. Rakitic is a counter-attack. Oh, what a challenge from Jordan Henderson. We've had, we've had our chances in this game to put this match to bed, but we have not taken them. Mo Salah. It's Firmino. Back to Henderson. Henderson shoots, glancing past the post. With 10 minutes to go. Barcelona are going to crank it up. I've got both their widgets left and right so I don't miss it. Miss and Dembele has come on instead of Coutinho. So part A has been done. Arthur has come on for Barrios. Yes. Good news for us. They haven't gone into uh Barcelona 1, Liverpool 2. Sergio Busquets gets a yellow card. Okay, we're going to bring on somebody who can help keep the ball. Okay, so... Uh, make a sub. Five minutes to go. We need someone who can keep the ball. So I'm going to bring on Sheridan Shakiri. And then we're going to take... Jordan Henderson off and bring on Ginny Wijnaldum. Ginny Wijnaldum is another very good player who can keep the ball. So these are players I'm banking, banging on, banking on for the closing stages. And now they've gone. With, oh, I've been an idiot all this time. I've been playing pass into space. Let's go direct. My mistake. I'm lucky that I haven't paid for it yet. I might still after with a. Right at the death, Barcelona get the equaliser 2 2. Right at the death. Unbelievable. Alison just stood there. Barcelona 2, Liverpool 2. Come to Anfield. It's revenge time against Barcelona. Uh, so far, we haven't lost the game yet. This unbeaten streak is still on. Robertson plays it long. My mistake was I didn't realize I passed into space going on. I, I didn't realize pass into space was on. My mistake. Um, the mistake I made was thinking that I had one more gear to shift into but in reality I was already giving them all their chances so never mind it's okay it's only uh, it's only uh, a draw away from home the work has to be done by Barcelona because we just got two away goals a draw at home 1-1 one, one, and we still go through so Barcelona has to score three goals just to make it through or Barcelona just have to beat us 1-0 and prevent us from scoring but that's easier said than done to a team like Liverpool who have been on fire this whole season. Except for the last couple of matches where we decided to play with a 4 3 one 2 And we failed to score for the first time. Because if you look at the whole season, I've never had a goalless draw. I've never once produced a match where I failed to score. Yeah, Atletico Madrid 0-0. Once. Once. <laughs> we had a goalless draw. And then I decided to switch to my 4 3 one 2 and I produced three goalless draws. Uh, Barcelona will have to pay for this insolence. They've insulted the the uh, Liverpool. Uh, it's no joke. Well, Barcelona played well. I was nervous. I guess I wanted to beat Barcelona. Now I've got a match against. Uh, I've got a match against uh, Spurs coming up, and Allison is injured. And then we have, we we will try to beat this team called. Uh, um, Spurs, but I'm going to make sure that my training, in terms of my calendar, in Barcelona, we didn't really rest after that attacking mix, we still kept training. Um, I'm going to make sure that just before this, I'm, I am I tune down the intensity of my uh, training. So we've got attacking corners, match preview, and recovery, recovery, rest. And then prior to this game, there will be no endurance, set piece, attacking free kicks, yes. Set piece, attacking corners, yes. Uh, guess what, Barcelona? We're 
planning, set pieces, set piece delivery, outfield, set piece, penalties. We're covering all the bases, Barcelona. We're, we, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. Okay. Uh chance creation. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna rest nicely for after the Spurs game. Um uh, in fact, forget the match, right? We're gonna just rest, boys. Attacking corners, rest. Yes. So it's a low intensity day for us before this big game. Then we'll rest for this and then we prepare for the big match against Barcelona. And then on this day we will rest. Recovery. Uh, match review and physical rest. So this this sorts out this day so that we don't end up in trouble. And then we we got Arsenal and that's it. That will bring us to the end of the season. So I'm managing my players so that we don't end up in a situation where we are in trouble. Liverpool sit on 98 points. We are we are hundred. We are just one win away from uh, beating the record. But that would be Liverpool's record. I think the league record is still 104 goals or 104 points. Keep briefing. Yes, we are getting ready for that match against that team called Spurs. Well, while I go and play the match against Spurs, we will be coming back uh, to continue on another adventure in the Champions League. Will we get through after the draw against Barcelona? I don't know. We did all the, we did all the preparation, but nothing could prevent us from that howler. Towards the end of the game, um, Allison just stood there as the ball bounced behind him. We should have won the game, but we didn't. But it's okay. We had a great start. There's plenty to take away from this game. Barcelona next travel to Anfield. And if we can beat Barcelona, it'll be very interesting to see who we we draw in the next round. Something tells me it's gonna it may be a Juventus look pretty strong. They've they beaten Real Madrid at home, but still I think one can safely say. No team seems to have an outright advantage in the semi-finals. So anybody can make it to the semi-finals. So we are going to be very interested to see how this pans out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Cop Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com. My website, once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for the continued support of this channel. You make this kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.